This channel are really used to seeing like a molested engine bay full of crap and gungeons and barely operational, just crap lying everywhere. But this, this is actually pretty factory. It's it's fairly clean. Ooh. So it's just very un untouched engine bay. It's very factory, very un nice. Unmolested. Yeah. Really, the only aftermarket thing that I can set off my head is that boost uh, bleed valve and the dual batteries. Yeah. Other than that, it's all still pretty factory. What do you think, Nick? What do you? So you've been driving this thing for how long now? Ah, uh, like a month. Bit yeah, over. You said it for a month. <laughs> Purchase price of what was it, 18 grand? Uh, 19 and a half. 19 and a half thousand. For an, how many Ks? 342. 342. TD42, turbocharged, factory. I mean... It's got a lot of potential. It's got a it lot of potential. Lots. It's And it's a really clean car. Like, there's no dents and scratches or panel damage or... But anyway, talk about the motor. I think, and so does Dan and Liam, they're pretty bulletproof, considering what we've done with ours. And it's... it's has a lot less turboing potential than this does. Yes, it has a lot less turboing potential <coughs> than this does. This, this, you could chuck, you could chuck compound set up on this thing and run like what, 38 pound? If you wanted to, yeah. Sure. Probably. Oh, maybe not. That. 30 sure. pound. 30 Give pound. It between this engine and the engine in my car? All right, so as far as I know, the difference between these is being that they were factory made for a turbo setup. They have stronger gudgeons, stronger rods, stronger pistons. They've also got obviously a boost compensated fuel pump, which I think is an 11 mil from factory, which means unlike James's, it won't just run way rich with no boost and then lean out when it's got heaps of boost. Um, it'll actually keep everything in tune, so that helps. Yeah. You could run I'd say, what, 15, 20 pound on one of these fairly safely and have it running at a constant, like, even fuel I would, I would go far as say, like, 38. Because mine's already running 20 on a 10. It's yeah, running with, with 18 at the work, moment. Yeah, I'm with, saying with, safe. Oh, I'm saying it's, safe. It's, you Yours be, isn't safe. If you want to make a grandma, <laughs> if you want to be grandma spec and, like, you know, baby it and stuff, then, yeah, 18 pound will, will last you a million Ks. But... If no, you want, no rod snappy. If no you want, snappy. if you want like the power and the and the and the moot that the uh, you get out of a 38 pound with compound servos. So you if you wanted to go crazy with one of these, I mean the sky's the limit. How far do you want to go? You can split the engine and do internals and go mental. Yeah, you but could. How yeah. much do you want to spend? I, I think safely running without touching the internals of the motor, like 25 pound. 25 would be pretty pretty up there. You'd obviously have to do an intercooler because the factory intercoolers on these I think aren't very fantastic no, they're, they're as they terrible. are. The issue is they don't have a fan on them. So that's sitting there in the bush. Might be good on the highway but sitting in the bush you're getting just heat soaked from the motor. Your intake air is getting hotter than it is getting cooler. So that's a big issue. You may have seen with James's patrol the massive um, cross country intercooler. Yeah, on it's there. got a massive fan on the bottom of it. That helps mm. a lot. Yeah. But um, before I put that on my car, my AGTs were around like 400 and I put that on, I took them down to like 250. And that was so, before yeah. we changed the turbo to a better turbo. So as well. if, if you were going to, you know, get one of these like in a fairly stock condition, like you have, Nick, I'd go turbo, similar to what we did on James's, intercooler, and a tune. I think that's the plan. Would be a fairly safe. Yeah. Has this got the factory turbo on it? Yeah. It yeah. Does. yeah. It's yeah. tiny. You should look at yeah. small turbos. It's yeah. got an AGT gauge on it. Oh yeah. yeah. What's it run? Fairly cool. Yeah. Yeah. 
He hasn't checked it apparently. I just lost it. <laughs> I he, he just wanted a game. He doesn't drive. He does a <laughs> I drive it to work and he drive saw it. Got, he that's apparently all I do. Uh, he brought it up here the other day and I was playing with the little with the bleed valve for the boost yeah. and he got yeah. it goes to eighteen now and I twisted it around. And it was what, sixteen? It was fifteen. Fifteen. So Sweet. extra extra tan in the old twisty boy. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Wind it on up. So this is a Millwell custom bull bar. The difference between this and say one on my car is the entry attack angle. So it's a much it's a much higher amount. It's what's known as like a comp bar. So when I got stuck in the mud uh, in, in Mount Robertson, this wouldn't have done it because as you can see the corners are just not there. There's just non existent. So you would have just been able to just pop shut up out of the top of it without having your digging the bull bar in. Uh, obviously if you hit a roo, it's gonna like fold around this and <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean that's fine. It's a comp bar, it's not really Alright, so I do landscaping as my profession and um, this tray is pretty set up for it, so in here you've got um, a lot of space for, this is just where I keep all my bags and stuff and you can fit shovels and whatever under there. It's got two fuel tanks, sub and main. It's got the roof tent for on the weekends. Come around the back, good draw setup it's for your recovery gear and sealed. whatever else, yeah it's all sealed so yeah she goes good. Alright, so she's running an Ironman 2 inch lift, obviously leaves at the back, which is a bit sad, but at the end of the day it doesn't matter. Uh, it's on 33s and yeah, she goes good. So on the inside we've got a Waco fridge, you know, keep the drinks cold. Uh, behind the seat we've got an air compressor and uh, amplifier for all the speakers and stuff. Going to install a 12 inch sub behind the passenger seat, that'll be good. This was just made with the car. So we've got, um, we've got your air compressor there. You've got uh, your front bodies, reverse lights. This one does nothing. Um, and then over here, when we hook up the winch, it's going to be all that stuff here with your dual batteries to charge me if I get flat. So this was Nick's TD42GU Patrol. If you like this video, give it a like. If it gets to a thousand likes, me and Dan will cowboy tune this car, wind that fuel screw in, change the boost, and uh, give it a bit more power. Because right now it's it's, it's factory like, it's like. It's got plenty of headroom to get some more balls out of this thing, so what do you reckon Nick? I reckon like and comment, say what you want done to it and, and we'll get there. Let's do it. Buying these Aussie Arvo stickers gains you 20 horsepower. <laughs>